Hello girls, good morning. Okay, uh, today we're going to continue our lesson on the different types of breathing mechanism. We have learned the breathing mechanism of insects. <clears throat> we shall be learning about the fish and the amphibian. But I feel that we should look at humans first because it's easier for you and you'll be able to make the relationship between the volume and the air pressure if you look at humans because you've learned it before last year. Okay, in last year, during a Form 3 lesson, Everything is basically the same as your Form 3 lesson. It's only thing the difference is when we learned about intercostal muscle, in Form 3 we did not learn there are two sets of intercostal muscle. Actually, there's an internal and external intercostal muscles. Okay, in Form 4 you must specify. You must differentiate between the internal and external intercostal muscles. Okay, now let's start. Okay, what are the things that actually happen in our breathing, uh, in our structure, the breathing, the respiratory structure in order for us to inhale? So, inhalation should come as the last uh, result. So, you don't say inhalation at first thing. You need to specify and describe what actually happens inside your lungs and inside your, uh, in the diaphragms in order to uh, produce the inhalation. So, the inhalation process is actually, how, how actually air goes in the lungs is should be number five, which is the last point. First of all, you must talk about what actually happens inside. The first thing here is the external intercostal muscles contract while the internal intercostal muscles relax. So they actually work antagonistically. That means the opposites. When one uh, muscle contracts, the other one will relax. So they're actually a pair of muscles here. Okay, so when the external contract, okay, the internal will relax. And this number one will cause number two to happen, which is the rib cage will move upwards and outwards. So actually, the number two here is to increase the volume. Okay, so your thoracic cavity volume is increased. Okay, number three at the same time, you can also say number three as the first one because it happens at the same time. The diaphragm muscles contract and this causes the diaphragm to move downwards and become flat and horizontal. So look at this diagram here. Okay, the uh, original dotted line is the original position and now it's moved down. So now this both action of the intercostal muscle pulling the ribcage upwards and outwards and also the uh, diaphragm moving downwards actually increases the volume. Okay, so number one and also number three actually increases the volume. And when the volume increases, you've learned earlier in your form two, the pressure, air pressure inside the thoracic cavity decreases. So now it's a low pressure inside compared to the outside, which is higher pressure. So we have a difference between high pressure and low pressure. So at the end, actually, the resulting uh, result the result is higher pressure air will always uh, air will always move from a higher pressure into lower pressure. So this is your trachea. So that's why the air moves into your lungs. All right. So you must talk about it in this order. Yeah. Let's look at exhalation. In exhalation, the process is reversed. Just now, the external intercostal muscles contract. So now, the external intercostal muscles relax while the internal intercostal muscles contract. So you just remember one only. When you remember one, you know the other one is the opposite. Okay, so this one, number one, will cause number two, which is the ribcage will move downwards Okay, and inwards. At the same time, the diaphragm actually relaxes. Relaxes, that means it will curve back upwards. So originally, when during inhalation, it went down. So now, it curved back upwards. To go upwards and form a dome called dome shape and this causes the volume to decrease okay so number one uh here causes this one to happen so the volume will increase uh, sorry the volume will reduce or decrease and as a result the pressure will increase so here you have a higher relatively higher pressure compared to the lower pressure outside so when you have a higher an air of higher pressure the region of higher pressure the air will move outside okay the air will automatically move outside of the lungs okay air is pushed out of the lungs i think this is quite easy for you because you've learned it in form three so remember the relationship between the air pressure and also volume when volume increase air pressure decreases when volume decreases air pressure increases all right okay and please have a look at this uh ar you scan the the you you install the app and then you scan it is a 3d image of the lungs okay